got a radio station. I do. I'm trying to remember your name. It happened. The Jack Jack Herrera? Herrera? Yeah, yes, the Jack Herrera, Herrera yeah. comes yes, from that yes, in, okay. in honor of okay. his, his efforts because the guy was a crazy, unrelenting activist yeah, who was just, he was a wild yeah. man. And he wrote the book, and actually on the back of his book was a $10,000 challenge to anybody who could prove him wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Goldo TV. Not too big of my boy, Goldo. Hey guys, I hope everyone is having a blessed day today. You know what I mean? This is Golo TV with a boat in a creaky dam, waterfall, just enjoying the birds, them singing, enjoying the weather, or pay far from everything, you know? Give thanks to God, you know? Give we another day to do things like this. Give thanks for the love and the support, man. Bless. Natural massage, natural. I'm more better than that. Huh? Natural. You got a radio station. I do. I'm trying to remember your name. It had a fire up in your area up in Colorado one time. Me and you, we flew from, I don't know if I met you in Texas or Miami, but we flew here one time, me and you and your That's family. Right. That's right. You live right. in um, Leona Watson's old house, Derek, Uncle Derek. Oh, wow. Okay. Derek. Yeah. I remember you. Yeah, what's your? I'm Ganji. Ganji. Yeah, Miller. Blair. 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 DJ, DJ Willie. DJ, Blair. DJ Willie, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Is that radio station? Is that radio Colorado? station? Yeah, he's way high radio. Yes, way sir. high radio, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, Literally sir. way high. Yes, sir. This, it's actually, since I've left there, unfortunately, the community's not really been able to keep it alive, but yeah. 
I remember you had some fires up there, and you were the one who was telling everybody how to evacuate and yes. everything like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Respect, yeah, man. Well, I see yeah, the man only on me, said know that. Yeah. I see this man only on me, said know that. I know the man, I see the B, said know that. I forget you, man, and that's the wife. Yes, I remember you more than right? two actually. other children, right? Well, my older son Kai is hiking up there. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I have a new daughter. Oh, uh, congratulations. Lila. Yeah, yeah. Well, she was just born in uh, August here. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, and then uh, is her dad or your dad? Her, her dad lives here, here yeah. and we live on his property. Yes. Down yes. Back okay, so I live in Yano. That is cool, people. I live in Yano. Oh, okay. Well, go on the radio. Why you ain't been on the radio? <laughs> I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing the radio. Okay. But I, I have to say right now. Yeah. Snow on the ground. In okay. Colorado, okay. So okay. It's, uh, you way up in the mountains and I'm way up there. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it was the only radio station for that community. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I was working. Well, I, I, I helped. All of it. I helped make all that stuff in Colorado happen, which kind of started the whole. This group of us from the old high times yeah. hippie days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We just started. We just started seeing that too many people' lives were being ruined yeah. from the stupid laws. Of yeah, the yeah, for a plant, so, for a plant. Yeah, for a plant. And so we just started sharing the truth, and, and it caught on. And it's come a long way. It's still got a long way to go. Yeah, it does. It does. It's not real legalization. It's just more change. Yes, it does, yeah. And they're still ruining lots of lives, unfortunately. Once the tax man can't get it how he wants, he's going to keep changing until he get it. Yes, sir. I live, like I was telling him, I live in Cali. And um, in Cali, they started taxing everything, right? When they got to um, recreational, especially, right? And the tax, if you go to buy a $50 worth of weed, oh, yeah. it's going to be fifty-seven fifty. Right? Yeah. So ain't nobody want to go to buy a 50 or 100 and be paying extra, extra taxa, percentage yeah. on it. I give you $100, yeah. I want my $100. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, the yeah. weed business yeah. go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, that's the thing, man. It's just the way they did these, these legalized or changes in regulations. Yeah, yeah. It was just a kick down to cops, lawyers, politicians. Yep. Just, and that's another part of the industry we talk about uh, the court system. The, the cops, the lawyers, and all those people who are yeah, making money want off they, of it they when want it was illegal. Yeah. They want their peace. They want their peace now yes, that it's legal, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. majority of the people them who are in charge of the policy That's making are attorneys. But it was like, but it didn't have anything to do with just locals. Local, like, yeah. What they need to do is just make make it legal first thing so that it's like completely legal on the island. And then from there, if they want to create you know, if people Zones. want to come and visit, then you can have ma and pa situations where people share and it's a, like a roots experience instead of this like package commercial bullshit experience that, that only mm -hmm. people in suits make. And yeah. That's, that's not the way to do it because you got to do it from the heart. Cause, mm -hmm. And that, that plant though, it has a good way of, of succeeding in... in Turning things around, it's already, it's already because of what's going on in the country with all these legal states. It's already people are starting to realize that this whole thing is set up for like handfuls of people to make money off of it. And so, really, it needs to go back in some levels. And actually, the, the old black market is coming back. And it, I was going to tell you that. I was going to tell you that. What I like about Colorado was that Colorado gives a lot of its money to education. Yes. Right? And well, actually, actually, Colorado's not the best in education, I have to say. But well, I'm talking about from, from cannabis. Oh, cannabis. From yes. cannabis. And, you know, for, for you and I to be able to be like, hey, I grew this, and, like, share it back yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. And it'd be as simple as that. Simple as that, yeah. And then build it from there yeah. instead of this exclusive, like, oh, you can't do it. Because you, you don't have a license. Yeah, you don't have a license. Yeah, you don't pay 52000 Yeah, so now you... <laughs> It's like, so if you do that, though, you're getting all this trouble and you're sucked into the system. And yeah. That's, yeah. that's, God, man, it's really cool. Yeah, I know, man. That was some years, though. That's like yeah, maybe two that's or three years ago. Yeah. Before the pandemic, definitely. Yes, it was. Definitely before the pandemic. So that was probably Colorado. I met you. Yeah. It was Colorado. Yeah. We were on our way out. out you were here, coming here? Yeah. We were coming here and we were going to North Carolina first, I think. Or, no, no, actually, that. When we were it could have been. Colorado, it could have we been. We were going to Miami, actually. Okay, we Miami. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Because sometimes I fly to North Carolina too. Wow. 
Hey man, good to see you again, man. Yeah, yeah man. Right Live. Yeah. yeah, but tell yeah. you, that's Enjoy, really man. Sad. So are you around? I'm around now, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah we're okay, local. Yeah, we're we local, man. We're local, you know. Okay. He's local, you check. <laughs> I was looking at you earlier. I was okay. like, yeah, I think yeah. it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if people you don't know who won't watch this, I yeah. don't want to. You're right, you're right. It. So I guess you can get my email. Okay. It's uh, Menek, M E N I K Development LLC at Menek.com. Yes, sir. Number is 340-227-5989. I want to know what you are making in Colorado with the with the cannabis. Um, well, for years I was an uh, activist in Colorado in the 90s, and we started educating people on the, all the uses of the cannabis plant just because too many people's lives were being ruined and we wanted to share the truth about it. And so I worked with a bunch of different people and we traveled all around the Midwest and, and, uh, and did this thing called Hemp Tour in the 90s. And after doing that, I was so into it that I just was like, I gotta figure out a way to, <laughs> to fund my activism. So I started doing this, I started creating my own hemp seed oil products and uh, we created this company called uh, the High Country Hemp Company and uh, started making hemp seed oil lip balm and a salve and a lotion. And uh, for the whole 90s, it was, it was something that actually helped fund my activism and actually helped fund hemp tour and legalization efforts in there in California because uh, I had friends who worked with this group, uh, Cannabis Action Network, and we used to hang out with Jack Herrera, who was the guy who wrote The Emperor's Jack, Jack, it was, Jack was an awesome Jack was amazing. He inspired me to... You know Jack Grass? Yeah, I, well, I know of Jack. I, one of my friends was, he grew under Jack. Jack showed him everything. Yeah. So a lot of the strains that I was getting from California was some Jack from Jack. So that's it. That's that's where they got a strain? Like, the Jack Herrera? Yeah, Jack yeah the Jack Herrera comes yes, from that yes, in, okay. in honor of okay. his, his efforts because the guy was a crazy, unrelenting activist yeah, who was just, he was a wild man and he wrote the book and actually on the back of his book was a $10,000 challenge to anybody who could prove him wrong if, on all the information that he had compiled over the years. <clears throat> and while I worked for him, the book started as this thin little pamphlet and now it went to this big, thick manual of all these different things and half the book is footnoted to prove where he's coming from, all the history that we have with this plant, because this plant is mana. It is, uh, it's, it's what it, it is for the healing of the nations. It, it's so true. It's like if we actually adopted this plant and used it for every single thing that we can possibly do with it. It would be amazing. I mean, the original plastic experiments were done. Hemp and cellulose. Yeah, hemp plastic. Oh, yeah, 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 hemp and cellulose. And, and that's the thing. DuPont knew this, and that's why they did the whole better living through canister, because they, they were like, oh, yeah, we can hydrate fossil fuels. And the thing is, is that hydrating uh, cellulose and creating <coughs> natural renewable plastics are, are so much more earth conscious in general. It's, it's like, it's the way to go. I mean, yeah. really. Why mess with plastic, period? You know what I mean? yeah. Uh, yeah, really, that was the yeah. thing. Well, I mean, I, I know plastic came from the PVC experiment like in 1907 or something like that, like in the early 1900s. Yeah. And that's when they started to really move with plastic. But like you said, hemp could have done so much more, like, you know, alternatively for di biodegradable especially and when <clears throat> here we don't have a big garbage issue because of our population but when you go to other places like I, I went to Ghana and I kid you not the beaches were filled with garbage and I don't mean like you're walking on garbage I mean mountains of garbage, of garbage. Wow. and it was plastic oh, yeah. you know what I mean so they don't have no way of getting rid of all this plastic you know what I mean so the thing about these they don't biodegrade like that and we don't have no recycling program here, so eventually it's gonna pile up. The yeah. deposit is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So we need more biodegradable ways to, to deal with our, our trash. For instance, they got this law here for the plastic bags, oh, yeah. right? <clears throat> but the plastic bags is the easiest one to biodegrade. Yeah. 
compared to this or this, these are yeah. thicker plastic. That's they don't right. biodegrade. The plastic bag will disintegrate in a couple of years, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But not plastic bottles no. and, and, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's one part about hemp. Hemp helps us sustain the environment. It helps us sustain life, you know what I mean? Hemp is a plant that I've watched the medicine of it heal people. You know what I mean? I've watched it be used for fuel. I've watched it be used for a lot of different things that we could use right now. Heal house cancer, yeah. everything. House, heal, heal hey, cancer, and everything. Yeah. All kind of different things. <laughs> That's the thing. There's so much that people can do with How this. And so much beyond the whole heady smoking of this plant. Just because, no, they, they, I mean, looks good. in 1937, Popular uh -huh. Mechanics magazine wrote an article and called it the billion dollar crop. And they referred to the, nothing was ever referred to as as a billion dollar crop. In the thirties, it's like million was something, but they called it the billion dollar crop because they knew all the different byproducts that could be made from this plant. Because once you get beyond the whole smoking and the head aspect of it, all the industrial products that you can make, the paints, the fuels, the varnishes, uh, every the paper. I mean, we we never had to cut down trees to yeah. make to, to make paper what it did is it supported the sulfur dioxide process that was created by DuPont company which melted down the lignin in the trees to make it into paper but we never had to do that I mean the thing is is that one acre of hemp equals four acres of trees it's you can grow it biannually in different places we, there's so many other ways to do things other than this whole fossil fuels thing which just pollutes the planet and, and leaves a legacy uh, that we're that we're gonna have to suffer through because yeah, we want yeah you okay. can you can create things with forethought and think yeah. about the future and that's the thing for the longest you know the industrial age everybody was like wow this is really cool and and i feel like the whole chem better living through chemistry was an offshoot of the industrial age but it wasn't connected to like what's this going to be like a hundred years down the line and if 100 years down the line, the rivers are dying, the air is polluted, every, you can't grow anything, then we probably didn't do it right. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah. so there's, we can still kind of change, change things, but it's, you know, it's going to take conscious effort. But then, you know, that was the whole thing. The fossil fuels industry is deeply rooted. And it's going to be hard to, to alter it, but the more, the more people like you and I just sit here and talk about this and share it, it the more people thrive. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I thank you, man, that you share that, that with me, you know? Thank right you, you know, Carissa going up. I'm a Gold, Goldo. Yeah, Goldo. Yes, sir. Right on, yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Tell them use the radio station, man. Yes, Way High Radio. Yes, sir. In the High Country Hemp Company. Yes, sir. Which its products will come back. It's yes. just right now I'm living life on the island and uh, all this in, in, in good time. Yeah. In good time. No, Fred, and if you, could, you want to leave your number, somebody hear it and contact you. You, go uh, if you, don't want you to can contact me at highcountryhemp at yahoo.com. Hey guys, so right now, I have to pack up and uh, change clothes and everything because it started to rain. The phone and sorting things almost get wet on the bag, so I had to rush and change and you know. But this is the end of the video, man. I bless up and give thanks, right? Peace. If thanks for watching guys, I appreciate the love and the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe if I like some of this content. God bless all you.